Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to draw a pumpkin in Procreate. Start by creating a new canvas. For this tutorial, choose the screen size. Now open the brush library and scroll to the calligraphy set and get the monoline brush. Now tap on the color swatch and tap value at the bottom of the colors menu and enter the hexadecimal that appears on the screen to get an orange color to draw your pumpkin with. Now use the size slider on the side of the screen to set the size of the monoline brush. I'm going to make it about 14%, and then make sure the opacity is 100%. Now draw a large vertical oval in the center of the canvas, and when you're done drawing it, hold your Apple Pencil down to make a more perfect shape. And now you can tap on the arrow and tap Freeform at the bottom of the screen, and you can move your oval, and you can resize it, and change its shape a bit. I'm going to leave it fairly wide. You can also use this green node to swivel it if it's not perfectly vertical. You can also tap warp at the bottom of the screen and then advanced mesh. Then you can drag the nodes to warp your oval into a different shape. I'm going to make my oval a bit wider at the bottom. And when you're done, drag from the color swatch into the oval to fill it with orange. Now swipe left on your oval layer and press duplicate. Then tap on the first oval and tap rename and give it the name original. And now tap on the top oval and hold and then drag it underneath the original layer. Now tap on the arrow and tap freeform at the bottom of the screen. Move the duplicated oval to the left and make it a bit smaller. I'm going to use the green node to rotate my oval slightly to the right. Then I'll tap Warp and Advanced Mesh. Now I'll drag the nodes to warp this oval so that it connects more smoothly with the original oval. I'm also going to drag the nodes on the left side of the oval to make it a bit rounder. Now open the Layers menu and swipe left on the lowest oval and press Duplicate. Drag the duplicated oval to the bottom of the layer stack. Tap on the arrow and tap Freeform at the bottom of the screen. Then move this oval to the left, rotate it if you want, and make it a bit smaller. If you want, you can tap Warp to change the shape of this oval. I'm going to make it a bit rounder and wider at the bottom. I'm also going to make it connect more smoothly with the oval that's beside it. Now tap on the middle oval layer and swipe right on the layer underneath it and press Group. Now tap on New Group, and swipe left on it, and press Duplicate. Now tap on the arrow, tap Freeform at the bottom of the screen, and then tap Flip Horizontal, and then move the duplicated layers to form the right side of the pumpkin. Now let's add some shading and highlights to this pumpkin. Tap on the original oval layer, and in the Flyout menu, press Select. Then create a new layer above this. Tap on the N on this new layer, press Darken, and then tap Multiply. Open the brush library, and get the noise brush located in the touch-up set. I'm going to make the size about 56%, and the opacity 78%, but you may want to use a different size depending on how big your pumpkin is. Now add some shading to the middle oval, I'm going to add shading to the top, the sides, and the bottom of this oval. Because it's selected, anything you draw will stay within this oval area. How dark the shading is depends on the pressure of your Apple Pencil and on how much texture you add. Now with the oval still selected, create a new layer, tap on the N, tap Lighten, and I'm going to choose the Color Dodge Blend Mode to add the highlight to the oval. Now tap on the paintbrush, and add a highlight. I'm going to add it to the top left of the oval as if the light source is coming from the top left of the canvas. Now I'm going to add some shading to the right side of the pumpkin. So tap on the first layer one layer under the top new group layer, and in the flyout menu, press select. And then create a new layer, tap on the N on this layer, tap multiply, tap on the paintbrush, and then paint some shading on this oval and I'll paint it between the two ovals 
on the bottom of the oval, on the side of the oval, and on the top of the oval. And because this is further away from my light source, I'm going to make it a bit darker, and I'm not going to add a highlight to this oval. And now do the same thing for the oval to the right of this one. Tap on the layer, press select, create a new layer, tap on the N, tap multiply, and add some shading. Okay, so now let's add some shading and highlights to the left side of the pumpkin. Tap on the layer one layer under the second new group layer and press select, and then create a new layer above it. Tap on the N on this layer and tap multiply. Add some shading to this oval. Now create a new layer above this, tap on the N, tap lighten, and then tap color dodge. Tap on the paintbrush and add a highlight to the top left. And then repeat this for the next oval. When you're done, tap on the selection button to deselect the oval. Okay, so now we just need to add a stem. To do this, I need to make my pumpkin a bit smaller and move it down. So I'm going to group all of the pumpkin layers together. Tap on the small arrow next to new group, and this will collapse the group and do this for both of the groups. Now tap on the top layer and swipe right on all of the layers underneath it, and then tap group. Now tap on the top new group layer, and then tap on the arrow, and now you can move your pumpkin down, or you can tap uniform at the bottom of the screen and resize it so it's a bit smaller. Now create a new layer, and then get the monoline brush again in the calligraphy set. And then get brown for the color. And now draw a stem. Make sure the shape is complete with no holes, and then drag from the color swatch into the stem to fill it with brown. Now move the stem layer to the bottom of the layer stack. Now you can tap on the arrow, and you can move the stem, resize it, or even warp it if you want to. Okay, so now we can shade this stem the same way we shaded the ovals. So tap on the stem layer, press select, and then create a new layer above it. Tap on the N, tap darken, and then tap multiply. Now get the noise brush located in the touch up set. I'm going to reduce the brush size to about 8%, but choose a size that works for you. And now draw some lines on the stem. With the stem still selected, create a new layer above the shading layer, tap on the N, tap Lighten, and this time choose the Add Blend Mode. Now tap on the paintbrush, and then draw some highlights on the stem. You can leave the highlights like this, or if you want, you can blur them a bit. Just tap on the Adjustments button, tap Gaussian Blur, and slide your finger or Apple Pencil across the screen to increase the blur. Then tap on the selection button to deselect the stem. Now I'm going to duplicate all of these pumpkin layers, so if I want to edit the pumpkin later, I can do that. So tap on the stem highlight layer, then swipe right on the two layers below it. Then drag these three stem layers over the top new group layer until the horizontal line on this layer turns blue. Now the stem layers should be part of the pumpkin group. Tap on the top new group layer and tap on the small arrow next to it to collapse it and then swipe left on this layer and press duplicate. Now turn off the visibility checkbox for the first new group layer, and then tap on the top new group layer and press flatten. And now you have a flat image of the pumpkin to work with. Because you still have the original group layer, you can go back and edit the pumpkin if you need to. So I'm going to add it back to this pumpkin. To do this, I'll duplicate the original oval layer and drag it to the bottom of the layer stack. Then I'll make it smaller and warp it to form the back of the pumpkin. Then I'll swipe left on this layer, duplicate it, tap freeform at the bottom of the screen, and move it to the other side of the pumpkin. Now I'll repeat this process to add two more back layers. Then I'll shade them the same way as I did for the rest of the pumpkin.
Now you can use this technique to create lots of different pumpkins. Try warping the ovals into different shapes to create different kinds of pumpkins. Try using different colors as well. I'm going to make this pumpkin have a green stem. Then add some finishing touches such as vines or leaves. Thank you for watching.